sleep is essential for your health. However, when life gets busy, it's often the first thing to get neglected or sacrificed. This is unfortunate because good sleep is just as vital to good health as eating healthy foods or getting enough exercise. Watch this video to learn why sleep is so essential to your health and how much you should be getting each night. Sleep is more than just a time for your body and mind to rest. While you're asleep, your body is hard at work. During this time, your body rebuilds muscles you've worn down during the day and cleans away harmful plaques and waste that is produced in the brain. These are vital processes that keep both your mind and body running correctly. Your mind also processes and responds to essential emotions and experiences from the day and commits them to memory. Sleep is also essential to regulating your emotions. Being sleep deprived for just one night can increase your emotional response to negative feelings by 60%. How much sleep you need depends on several things. Every individual has unique needs and preferences, and the answer to how much sleep you need is no different. Nevertheless, the amount of sleep you need per night is mostly determined by your age. Older adults, age 65 plus should sleep 7 to 8 hours a day. Adults, age 18 to 64 years should sleep 7 to 9 hours a day. Teenagers, age 14 to 17 years should sleep 8 to 10 hours a day. School children, age 6 to 13 years should sleep 9-11 hours a day. Toddlers, age 1 to 2 years should sleep 9-11 hours a day. Infants, age 4 to 11 months should sleep 9-11 hours a day. Newborns, age 0 to 3 months should sleep 9-11 hours a day. Genetics is another determinant of how many hours of sleep you need per night. Specific genetic mutations can affect how long you need to sleep, at what time of day you prefer to sleep, and how you respond to sleep deprivation. For example, those with one specific genetic mutation get by fine on around 6 hours, whereas people without it need about 8 hours, on average. And people carrying specific other genetic mutations are more negatively affected by sleep deprivation or experience deeper sleep. Unfortunately, your genetic makeup is not something you can change, and there's no practical way to know if you carry one of these mutations. It's essential to simply pay attention to how you feel to determine if you're getting the right amount of sleep. Tips for better sleep. Follow a regular schedule. Going to bed at the same time each night helps regulate your inner clock. Following an irregular sleep schedule has been linked to poor sleep quality and duration. Create a calming bedtime routine. You are adopting a relaxing method before bed can help you get in the mood to sleep. Listening to calming music has been shown to help improve sleep quality in certain groups. Create a comfortable environment. Sleeping in a quiet, dark room at a comfortable temperature can help you sleep better. Being too active before bed, too warm, or in a noisy environment is linked to poor sleep. Minimize caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine. Try to avoid caffeine in the afternoon and evening. Reduce your use of electronics. The excessive use of cell phones and electronics has been associated with poor sleep quality. Even exposure to bright room lights before bed may negatively affect your sleep. Be more active. Studies have shown that being inactive is associated with more inadequate sleep, and conversely, getting exercise during the day may help you sleep better at night. Practice meditation. Meditation and relaxation training may help improve sleep quality and brain function, although research isn't detailed. The amount of sleep you need varies for each person and is affected by several factors. However, for most adults, 7 to 9 hours per night is the ideal amount. Pay attention to how you feel during the day to determine if you're getting the right amount for you. If you are sleeping enough, you should feel awake and energized during the day. If you find you are sluggish or often tired, you may need to sleep more. To make the most out of bedtime, create good habits, such as minimizing your caffeine and alcohol intake, following a regular sleep schedule, and creating a comfortable sleeping environment. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get more videos like this.